This video is going to be about the seven names of the Nephilim. And we saw how Jethro has seven names. He is a Cainite. And we know that the Nephilim are the Cainites or related to the Cainites. So there's a little connection there. But there are other things that have seven names. The evil inclination has seven names. Moses had seven names, and he and Jethro share one of those names, being Heber. Um, and then there's even uh, Gehenna had seven different names. Um, the Holy Tongue knows of seven different names, each referring to a different category of prayer. What's interesting about this is one of them is Nephela here, which is very similar to Nephilim. And what's interesting about this is the seven names of the Nephilim are hinted at in the text of the Hebrew Bible. So whenever you see how the mighty have fallen, or how have the mighty fallen, this is a little play on words because the mighty are the Geberim, and the fallen ones are the Nephilim. So you can see how they're often uh, together. It's a little hint. The Torah is giving you a hint. If you go to uh, Bereshit Rabbah, you can actually find all of the seven names here of the Nephilim. And here they, they list them out for you. You might recognize some of these, like the giant, the, ref, uh, the Rephaim. But here you see the Nephilim and the Gebarim. So they're saying that the Gebarim is one of the seven names of the Nephilim. So if you're looking for Nephilim hints in the Torah, uh, take these names and have a look around, and it's uh, quite rewarding. But this is all hinted at in Genesis, Genesis 6-4, where we have the Nephilim, the very first time they show up. It was then too, and it was then and later too that the Nephilim appeared on the earth, and when the divine beings cohabited with the daughters of men who bore them offspring, they were the mighty ones, or the heroes of old, the men of renown. And here you see the Nephilim, and in the exact same verse, as a hint, the Gebarim.